for the stream to start. Did you start it? I believe so. Here we go. How are you today, stink pants? You told me. When I'm... did you start? <laughs> Just then. When? For the, for the festive season. When did you start? Let's get on it. Like you muffling blah, 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 blah. Mm. <laughs> did you spill my secret? English. Did you spill my secret? What secret? There's Since no... you're singing the song, did you online already? No, because no one wants to hear me sing. Okay, good. <laughs> <sighs> All right. Hello, everyone. So for today, we got a few topics up in line. We got the old Boxing Day sales and test. What everyone got for Christmas. And what are the New Year's resolutions for everybody? That's oh. what we'll start with. Did you online or Oh, what did you do, Stinky? Don't... Ah! Ow! <laughs> Don't that's, do that, touch my screen. That's a great way to start. Oh, there's people there already. Let's crank up the music. It's not the Christmas carols that we should be doing. Whoa, there's a whole lot of people there. Hello, Kane, Random, Awesome, Spidey, Penguin, Red December, my goodness. All of the DLGs here at the moment. Uh, I'm a little bit behind in the chat there, so let me just have a look. I believe you were born when Walgreens came out. I don't know Walgreens. Do you know that, Stinky? Hello, hello, says everyone. I'm sure that's stinky. Oh. Uncle Poodot, I've returned for more with the leopard seals. Nice one. Hello, Red December. Uh, Kane's enemy, says Spidey. I know we have a boomer in the stream. That'd be Kane. Oh, what? You guys ah. are a day early. No, it's Sunday for us today. Mm -hmm. we, we're not early, are we? Uh, I don't know, I can't keep up with the time these days. Okay, people, what did you get for Christmas you, uh, yesterday? Poodot, you're first. Oh, yeah. I, I got a iPad Pro with a, a keyboard, so I was ecstatic about that. And some boxer shorts from Stinky. <laughs> <laughs> and what did everyone else get? New boxer shot from the Poodot. All right, now you do your little bit do a bit of commentary there, Von Stink, while I disappear for a bit. Uh, oh, well, I kind of have problem with this going on this left, right, center. What's this? This is like an old game. The screen is very small. Should I go past it or not? What's that? Hang on. Oh, that's the lift. Hey. How can I change? All right, there you go. Wham! Beam, 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 beam. How do yes. you know that that's an old game? I'm not saying it's an old game. It looks like old game because it looks like Mario type of thing, you know. Oh, I see. Ah, uh, where were we? No, ran. Out. Yeah, well, I did say uh, what I got. Uh, Uncle Pudok, congratulations on the 4.15k. He's keeping tabs on us, his penguin. Whoa. Uh, thank you for that. It's been a <coughs> pretty good week, I guess, for that. Uh, let's see. Penguin got a new chair since I have had the same one for three years. That's a long time to have a chair. What kind of chair is it? Is it one of the gaming ones? or We were looking at getting chairs, weren't we? Some office chairs? Yeah. I sat in a gaming chair, but I'm a little bit too big for those narrow things. Wasn't super comfortable. Uh, I got four boxes of Lego, Star Wars, and clothes. Nice one, oh. Kane. I bet my I brother would be jealous about that? that. And what did Spidey and Red December get as well? Let's hear about all of the Christmas presents. I sent some food to my dad. <laughs> he opened what food? It. Uh, what was it? Some, you haven't told him. It was some, uh, what did they call it? Calamari rolls or squid rolls, something like that. Mm. Some uh, Asian jerky and some dried prunes that he likes putting in his cups of tea for some reason. Uh, Uncle Poodot, I have a sad news though. Oh no, here we go. 
I always here for you, Penguin, as always. He seems to have a bit of sad news every now and again. Random got for Christmas an iPhone 8 Plus. Nice one. Wireless charger. Oh, I've never even seen a wireless charger for an iPhone. Maybe we'll get that the next time round. And wireless headphones and power bank. Nice. I'm a bit jealous of uh, Random's Christmas presents. I want them all. <laughs> Oh, this is kind of, uh, what do you call, puzzle game as well, I think. Is it? Yeah, because you have to do this to open that, that kind of thing. Oh, I see. Well, you're good at puzzles. Mm. You've been addicted to some new game there. That's not quite a puzzle. <laughs> anyway, let's do it. Kane says random is saying, uh, what random is saying is lies. He's been a bad boy this year and he got coal. <laughs> That's what I was going to put in your Christmas stocking. Red December got a candle, calendar, Amazon gift cards, lady, oh, ladybug chocolate. What is that? Lady then Santa Buck came for Stardust. Chocolate. Now, how come only Stardust got a visit from Santa? What about the other two dogs? Actually, is ladybug chocolate just the same as your frog chocolate? I don't know. So it's just basically Freddo like frogs. Frog. Even after winning the. Well, I don't know if I should say that aloud. We're not accepted into the United Nations for being a empire. Um, yes, I've got to be a bit careful about talking about those sort of things, but I did see a bit of news about that. There's also news about a volcano recently that's erupted. So there's quite a few things going on at the moment. Kane, I wish I got coal. If I had coal, I'd sell it to energy companies and make millions of dollars. That's true. We're still on coal power at the moment, aren't we? We do have other sources like the wind turbines, and um, we have. I think we've got a hydro dam somewhere. Don't quote me on that. Okay. And, I have uh, no idea. But primarily, it's still coal. There you go. Hopefully, that will change one day. I think I heard they have a plan to change to a renew. Renewable energy within 30 years? Yeah, well, it would be good. That's, I mean, that's good, but it's quite a long time. <laughs> there's a lot of solar panels popping up now, but it's still not quite viable yet. Although I have heard that people that have installed as many as they are allowed to by law, their electricity bill is basically negligible. Gee, negligible. Gee, we're going off topic already. What? What does that mean? So I have some friends that have done it and they reckon that they basically don't have an electricity bill because of the amount of solar energy that they produce. But you've got to be in the right area for that as well. Santa did come for the other dogs, but Stardust stole their gifts. Why doesn't that surprise me? <laughs> Stardust is very good at opening presents from what I've seen. She tears into them. Hey, having said that, did you give, you know, the rat back her present? Did you give her? No, but she ate a lot of turkey so far. But I did get her a couple of Christmas presents, so she'll have to get them kind of late. Uh, how's everyone been? We've been good. Uh, yes, Penguin hasn't been here for the last couple of weeks. Well, he dropped in briefly in the last stream just to say he was... Uh, busy with friends and family or family and friends one of the two or mm. both uh -huh. now you didn't do the boxing day sales this year did you and uh, i saw that can't be bothered and i don't do it every year i still had the bad taste in my mouth from last time remember what happened last time i remember that shoes cabinet <laughs> <laughs> that that's sitting on the floor dismantled that I'm still waiting a year later for it to be put up. I said I'd help you, but we haven't sat down and done anything yet. And by the way, this is also a multiplayer game, allegedly. So if anyone wants to join, I don't oh, know. I if, only play single. I don't know if you have to get to a certain level first, though. You might have to do that. I don't know. Uh, I've missed this very much. We've missed you too. We've been. Uh, We've had the, like, awesome pugs been around a bit regularly, but Spidey wasn't online for a while, but he's back now. Look, he's just left another message. Many people cook ham instead of turkey because it takes too long to cook and it comes out dry. And this is the same conversation I had with my family members. The, the, 
the ones from other countries say that they don't really like turkey because it's too dry. But what did you think of the turkey this year, Stinky? Ah, not bad. Ugh. You're supposed to say super moist and succulent because it was, Stinky. Yeah, moist and succulent. There you go. One day I'm going to convince you it's more than just chicken. Uh, Spidey said he got clothes. I said it didn't matter what they got me in my family. Don't need to get anything because 2020 is hard enough. Spidey's got a good heart. <coughs> Doesn't he to say that? Because mm-hmm. when you're a younger person, I remember when I was younger, I didn't like getting clothes that much. But, you know, it's more practical to get that. I appreciate them now, though. Clothes? Yeah. Like, you want the, when you're a kid, you want toys and things, not so much mm-hmm. clothes. Unless you're into fashion and things, which I never really was. So there you go. Uh, welcome back, Spidey. Kane prefers ham. So we did ham once or twice, didn't we? And you, you're not a big fan of it, and neither am I. Um, having said that, we never really have the big le- ham leg that cooked. Yeah, we've never cooked one. We just basically eat ham. <laughs> yeah, but it, it's practically the same. Because I've only ever had one cooked leg ham in my life. And it was no different, Uh, although they did put extra spices and things on top. Like, it was nice, don't get me wrong, but not that much different from the the smoked or whatever you normally buy that's cold. So there you go. Who's ready for 2021? We are, which is the next thing uh, that we might discuss here. Well, I'll just mention that one of the popular searches recently was Boxing Day Test. Now, Penguin will know what that is, but I don't think anyone else does. So what is a Boxing Day test? I'll leave that up to Penguin to say, you know now because I told you yesterday, Uh isn't it? But you didn't know what it was before yesterday. I don't get why you have to have two things on the same day. Well, because, you know, maybe the, the, I'm not saying this is necessarily the case. Maybe females prefer to go Boxing Day sales and the guys prefer to sport. It's all sport. And it's also the season for it. So there you go. Hang on, what's going on? Why it's going to this one? I don't know. How can I go back? Uh, What did you do again? I didn't do it, just leave it there. Nope. You're back. I don't know what you did there, Stinky. Nothing. Oh, everyone's ready for 2021, it looks like. Uh, I'm also getting a ballet studio in my home. Yes, Red December mentioned that before. Ah. Isn't it? Ah. That'd be an absolute luxury, I reckon. Mm. Imagine having that stretching pole and a big mirror. Ah. I I assume wooden floors of some kind or some sort of polished floor. I I don't mind that. I can use it for gym or something else. But hopefully, Red December, you take good care of your feet because that's a big thing with ballet dancers that... Uh, I suppose when you get older, it doesn't really matter so much, but they're notorious for having really beat up feet that they don't don't look so good after a while because of the binding with the, the uh, what are they called, ballet slippers? And then also because you're on your toes a lot, it does quite a lot of damage. So there's that, and maybe get a tutu as well. Oh, PK... Uh, PKBM Buddy Jaya is here. Hello, it's good to see you as well. Uh, do you celebrate Christmas or New I suppose everyone celebrates New Year's. Uh, I lost all to you. I'm getting a bit behind. I'm also getting... Oh no, I read that. I am ready 2021. Yes, that's true. We're all kind of hoping 2021 will be better. Ah, the Boxing Day test. Okay, everyone sit back. Penguin's going to explain it. It's a cricket test match, usually held in Melbourne, I believe. Correct, Amundo. And who is it between, usually, Penguin? Uh, I'm not sure if this is 100% accurate, but I always thought it was the same country that we played against. And uh, thank you for liking there, uh, Buddy Jaya. So we're curious to know what, what you might be celebrating at this time of year. Some people celebrate Christmas, others don't. And the opposing national. It involves the Australian cricket team and the opposing national team. 
He's not going to say it explicitly because he knows we'll beat them. Trash talk. <laughs> trash talk, yeah. Got to do the trash talk when it comes to Penguin. Because he beats us all the time whenever he joins us in games. Got to, got to talk him down a little bit. And then the next one, do you have New Year's resolutions? I don't know if we should be mentioning these live for posterity for all the world to hear. What do you think, Stinky? Do you actually make them? What do you mean? Do make you do what? a New Year's resolution? What are the best mm-hmm. ones? What's the best New Year's resolutions you can think of? Uh, and does anyone in the live chat do it every year? And if so, what do they, they think are the best New Year's resolutions to have? I don't really have. I'm just like, uh, <laughs> what should I do different this year? And there's something that, you know, you want to do before you die that you should do it this year. Yeah. So something like that. but Almost like a bucket list. Yeah, almost like that. But usually it's to change things to improve, like, you know, mm-hmm. I'm, I'm going to do this this year. Yeah. Um, I don't really have that strong um, will for the resolution, I guess. I just, you know, do something on your bucket list. Oh, you get that bucket list going. That was one time. I think that was 2016. I want to go for a meditation course, go back to visit my family, and then travel to Europe, which I did all that in that year. So I went to UK and Scotland. Not UK, England and Scot- Scotland. That's a UK technically. Yeah, but not whole UK. That's why I didn't use that word, you know. Ah, not in Be its more entirety. Specific. I saw a video last night saying that the oldest border in the world is between Scotland and England. Did you know that? Hundreds of millions of years ago, they went... What is it called? uh, I don't know, but there's a town, funnily enough, that five times it switched countries in its history. So, you know, it's in Scotland one year and then England another. Right. And hundreds of millions ago, years ago, they weren't even attached as land masses. Mm. They were pushed together eventually. And the, the actual border closely resembles the, the line for when the land masses did join. So there you go. A bit of history for everyone. Although I did get that off YouTube, so take it with a grain of salt. Mm-hmm. You know how that one works. And I know I'm falling a bit behind in the chat there, but just bear with me. I'm just doing a bit of background work first. Uh, what was the other thing I had to do? Oh, where are they? Okay, so what else have you got to say there? Steve? How about you? You keep asking oh, me. Oh, I am going to get healthier and fitter this year. You've been forcing me to do it lately, so I'm going to keep that up. Isn't it getting me to do that exercise in the heat last night? It's not heat, heat yet. It's not yet 30 Celsius yesterday. Yeah, I was Come sweating. On. What did I make you do last night, Stinky? Eh? Remember I said you got to do two things, or you had the choice between doing one thing and another thing? I can't believe that. <laughs> Sniff my stink, I said. You made eh. me do that. you got to smell it now. Should I tell the other half of that story? No. I wouldn't want to embarrass you, Stinky. <laughs> stinky being the operative word there. Yuck. You were laughing your head off, you were. You thought it was hilarious. Didn't you? No comment from the no peanut comment. gallery. Oh, what should I do here? How can I get there? Mm. Get on it. Okay, so I've almost finished Peoples. This is when I, I wish they could see what I was doing. I'm not just mucking around. But I've got to do what Stinky doesn't do, as per usual. Isn't it Stinkos? That's nice. got a, has that got a serious number of ads on it? Yeah, every time I pass a or level. fail, I think. Wow. Sorry for that, guys. Can't do much about the in-game ads as per usual. Alright, so that's that. Whoa, I'm way behind. 
Uh, it involved Australian yeah, yeah, and the opposing national team. He's not going to say it. The old Barmy Army, if he knows what that is. I missed the Clash of Clans streams. I was planning on doing one fairly soon. I'm almost uh, completely upgraded, so I was just going to wait until the base was maxed out. Um, there's only one more upgrade to go, but uh, with the exception of troops. But having said that, it takes time for things to upgrade. So we'll get there soon, Kane. Uh, speaking of happy Boxing Day, Uncle Poodot, and yeah, the national opposing team. Clean out storage boxes in my basement. You know, when I was a child, I used to think Boxing Day meant like a day of boxing the sport. Mm -hmm. Like all day people just watched boxing or competed. And then someone explained oh. to me it's not that at all. Yeah. Did you know what it was? You didn't even know what it was, did you? Uh -huh. We don't have Boxing Day in my country. <laughs> Red December thought it was Friday all day. She's glad she found out it's a correct day today. And 100 people are allowed to go to Times Square on New Year's. Oh, wow. 100 people in Times Square on New Year's because of the cough cough. There used to be millions of them. That's, I wonder, that would be a very, I assume, elite event. If you can only have a hundred show up, because Times Square, when they celebrate New Year's, it's huge. Okay. So how would you do it? How would they pick those hundred people? They'd all be dignitaries, celebrities maybe. Uh-huh. Keep it all restricted, I'd be saying. Yeah, Anglo-Scottish border. There you go. Penguin knows what I'm talking about. Uh, people I sure. met. And there was a huge explosion in Tennessee. I heard about that too. Did you see that in the news? No, I didn't so, watch a lot of news these days. Yeah, there's been quite a few things going on lately. I'll also try to get a boyfriend for my New Year's resolution with Penguin's <laughs> dating tips. <laughs> Penguin's got good tips. He's a bit of a bit of a well, not a playboy, but smooth mover, shall we say? He's got the great. Great tips there. Best of luck, Red says Spidey. There you go. Look at the DLG. We love that they get along as well as they do. It makes me feel all warm and snuggly inside, it does. Red December, I can see the future. You'll get one in early 2021. I know this because you're such a kind and awesome person, which is true. This is, I believe that, you know, this whole nice people finish last is, is not necessarily true. I think you can uh, prove that you can get whoever you want just by being a good person, isn't it? With the exception of you, Stinky, you just got lucky. Very lucky. Say it. <laughs> what? <laughs> yes, I got very lucky to meet you, Poodot. Say it. <laughs> I can't get anything out of you. Oh, I was so unlucky. <sighs> Uncle Poodot, how much is too much to spend on a person for Christmas? That's a good question. I mean, you've got to keep things within your budget, whatever you can uh, afford. You don't need to go overboard because it really is the thought that counts. Uh, my example would be I never buy presents that are as expensive as what I get uh, from my father, for example, but he would get annoyed if I did. He'd say, don't waste your money. Like, it doesn't matter if I spend it, but you shouldn't sort of thing. And uh, yeah, I mean, you don't have to spend any money necessarily. Some of the best presents I've gotten were made by the person. So for example, my um, one year for my birthday, uh, my brother got me a CD that he actually made of my music. It was one of the best presents I'd ever had. Maybe, possibly even the best. Uh, so no, just it doesn't have to be expensive, doesn't it? And if you can get something that they really want and like, then go for it. It doesn't have to be that way. I can assure you with Stink Pants wanting her, her, what are they called? Gemstones? That cost me a bit the last time, didn't it, Stinky? Mm. Yeah, you're happy with that. I'm more happy with it than you are. Yeah. <laughs> what's with that? Oh, official MX. He got a skate. Oh, what's a skate three? Is that a skateboard? 
Oh, old Uncle Peanut's just not up with the times these days. Escape 3. Have you ever heard of that? No. I had a, got a skateboard way back in the day. Bought my brother one as well for his birthday or Christmas. I tried once, not success. Yeah. <laughs> I tried rollerblade again with my sis, not really success. <laughs> <laughs> you got to get into the balancing of things, don't you? I wasn't very good on the rollerblades. Skateboard, okay. Until I had a friend convince me one day, let's go skating one night. And he was a good skateboarder. So he would pick these really big hills to go down. And uh, someone that doesn't skate that much, it's heck scary. And he did these weaving in and out of things, slammed into a wall. And are you okay? You hit that thing pretty hard. And he said, no, he's all right. Oh, Skate 3 is an Xbox 360, Xbox One game. Nice. And is it a skateboard game or is it doing uh, rollerblades, roller skates, if that's even a thing? Ice skating? Are you good at any of that? Have you tried ice skating yet? Yeah, not good. Not good at that either? <laughs> not good at anything <laughs> that is on the, um, what do you call it? On the floor, on the earth, you know. What about gymnastics for balancing? I'm questioning your balancing. Balancing is <laughs> not that good. So I like anything in the water. In the water is fine because you don't really have to afraid of falling. That's well. What about diving off a high dive board, like a ten foot one or a three meter one? I never tried. What about a meter and a half one? Meters. Not much, it's just like my height. <laughs> well, yes. It took me a while to get going on a three meter board. I was scared of them when I was younger. Uh, I don't have a chance to try. And I thought, don't you have to have like a, a good posture when you hit? Yes. And you don't feel <laughs> yes. like something break? <laughs> so if you ever did it the first time and did a belly flop, you don't really want to do it again. <laughs> Uh, so official MX is saying the game is golden game better than the other skating games. Nice one. Is the I don't even know what the the latest Xbox is. Is it Xbox One? I know 360 might be a little bit older from memory because I've heard they're very hard to get. The new Xbox and the new PlayStation. Apparently there were some delivery services that were not delivering them. They were hanging on to the product instead. Which is a little bit naughty. So we haven't heard too many New Year's resolutions yet, have we? None from you, Stinky. Um, for me, uh, uh, well, my plan is I plan to do some exercising more often. You've been getting into it quite a bit. Oh, Cristiano. Boa Ventura is here. It's good to see you bringing all of the fun directly from Australia. We do try. So welcome uh, Cristiano, the DLG. In total, I in total spent, wow, that's a lot of cash. $730, $5 plus some change there, Stinky, on Christmas presents on the girlfriend. Uh-huh. Then I'd say, uh, Penguin, you don't do that until you're married and then you halve it. <laughs> and then halve it again. That's what I do to Stinky, isn't it? You got nothing oh. from me. Uh, I bought her a custom-made jacket and a giant baby Yoda. Stuffed animal, a stitched stuffed animal and a stitched T-shirt. And a stuffed penguin ornament. She got very lucky this Christmas, didn't she? Yeah. No, I do. I do. Yeah. Penguin, stop telling people what you got. <laughs> you ask them. <laughs> and you oh, told them what you got. I'm going to be in and trouble. And now I'm telling you what I've got. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm going to be in trouble after this stream. <laughs> oh, Ethion Jones is here too. Uh, Merry Christmas to you too, Nadolg Alawan. Which is Welsh for, I think, Merry Christmas, because you did that last year from Rose and I and from Rudolph that you have not met yet. No, I don't know who. Is Rudolph your son? 
believe Rudolph might be his son, but don't quote me on that. I'd be interested to know if you're on... There's been an update to... It was a while ago with uh, YouTube subtitles, and we can actually translate in Welsh now. I don't know if it's accurate at all. Uh, <laughs> Not accurate, <laughs> I don't think. For Cristiano and Ethion, we've been talking about New Year's resolutions as well as what you might have gotten for Christmas if you're willing to share. Uh, I saved a lot of money with no boyfriend to spend for this year. Spend it on yourself. Don't waste it on your partner. <laughs> oh, I'm in trouble after this stream. Some winter earrings and a necklace and other things. Penguin! <laughs> You get me into more trouble. <laughs> I know what stink, stinky after the stream is going to be right. You got to get me this. I already gave you the list last week. Well, I don't know. You how, didn't get anything. I don't Era. know how much Apple Watches go for, but that's probably the entire price of what Penguin spent on his partner. I don't need Apple Watch. That's okay. I Just do that cupboard that I got you. <laughs> Last year. <laughs> I still need your help with that. Your present is for me to put together the shoe cabinet that you bought one year ago yep. that's still sitting in pieces on the floor. Yep. <sighs> well, at least it'll be cheap. Uh, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, he delivered a present and decided to stay a while. Nice one. So, obviously, Ephion's been... Well, maybe Santa doesn't mind that Ephion takes over the kitchen table all the time. <laughs> and maybe his wife Rose doesn't mind. Well, she does mind, I know, because she sends me messages all the time telling him to stop doing it. But Santa might, might not have been aware, so he ended up getting his presents. She spent $20. She bought me his stuffed penguin and a pillow and gave me a old stuffed cat. It's the thought that counts, right? Yeah, except... <laughs> I want to say something about girls versus boys, but I might get into trouble doing that. And it's not actually true, because Stinky doesn't mind spending a bit of cash on me. Thank you, Stinky. Stink Pants gives me a list, yep. <laughs> I did give you a list last time. I can't remember any of it. You actually wrote down. Oh, I did write it down somewhere. <laughs> I can't remember where I wrote it. <laughs> Have I got it here? I don't know. It's somewhere. We'll get on it. Oh, bless. <laughs> it's easier that way, I find. Is it that what way? <laughs> well, so long as you actually get them eventually. You know, then you get double Christmas, double birthday. Isn't it? All right. New Year's resolution this year. Presents on time this year. <laughs> Because I'm notoriously bad for that. Uh, even my own family will tell you. Yeah, that. I'm the one who actually got your family gifts. Thank you. <laughs> Thought of it. Thank told you. you what to get. Thank you. Hassle you to drive there to get it and pause it. Many, <laughs> many, 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 many thanks. I cannot thank you enough. You don't have to thank me. Just give me a Christmas present. Uh, I gotta put together that <laughs> shoe cabinet. I'll get you an actual present at some point. I thought the roast turkey would be it. Anyway, yes. That's your present. <laughs> so, guess what time is it? What time is it? Oh, and by the way, awesome. I think it was awesome. Pug had a birthday earlier this week. He mentioned it in the uh, Discord. So, happy birthday to awesome. He was in the stream earlier on. Not sure oh, if he's still there happy now. birthday! Story time, that's what time it is. Happy birthday to awesome. How can I get inside there? Jump? No, look at this. There's a lot of things in there. I don't think I can. With Fireboy and Water Girl. How old was the stuffed cat? I've got a stuffed cat story about what is my little cousin. Cat? You know, like a little toy that's a stuffed cat. I picked one up. My little cousin, she was only three years old at the time. She really wanted a cat. Mm. So the, the relatives got her a stuffed one, which she wasn't overly happy about, but she <laughs> thought it was okay. And then it wasn't even my idea, I don't think. One of my uncles said, pick it up by the tail in front of her. 
so I did and I dangled it in front of her like a uh, like a hypnotist and a watch and she got really angry at me because she thought I was being cruel to the cat it was a stuffed toy Another mm-hmm. uncle told me to give her toilet paper for Christmas because she just learned to use the potty training thing. Oh. <laughs> she was really annoyed at that. She threw it back at me. <laughs> I think your uncle's kind of cruel. They are. To tell you to u- get those stuff. They're using me as a conduit too, which is not good, isn't it? They say, do your own dirty work, uncles. Three years used by her. Oh, so... There you go, second-hand present for Penguin, but special because it was uh, used by the girlfriend. Try this one uh, after a festive drink. Oh, here we go. Blwidden nyu da 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 Why Why did they double up on the letters there, Ephion? That is difficult to say. And we did do the, the festive drink. Do people drink eggnog over Christmas? I never used to do that before meeting Stinky, and now we've bought it. You still haven't had any. I've almost finished it, Stink Pants. And uh, what does actually? No, I can use I can use Google Translate to translate that one. Let's see what that says. Possibly Happy New Year. Singing all Lang Syne and all of that kind of thing. Happy New oh. Year. Blowidden New Da. I'm going to say that's how you say it in Welsh. What do you got there, Stinky? I'm the only one that seems excited about this time of year in this household at the moment, isn't it, Stink? Mm -hmm. For you, it's just another day. Um, I never have to do anything around this like it's not even public holidays so yeah that's true isn't um, it I don't feel because it's my culture it's not that <laughs> <laughs> important <laughs> can I put it that way well because you've got a different new year time as well and Evian says to me not enough drink that's because I haven't been putting any rum in my eggnog which stink pants wants to try isn't it you are reorganizing the alcohol shelf had a sip of this and that. I need to drink more, says Ephion. But mine would be a non-alcoholic eggnog. Okay, it was Christmas Eve and I didn't have a ton of, a ton of time uh, that morning. So I actually did something I haven't done in a while. I combed my hair. What? For, ready for the car and drove off in the fog. See, penguins just like me. You don't need to comb your hair. You run your hands through it. All right, Christmas New Year's resolution. I'll start combing my hair a little bit more okay. when when we've got to go out in public. Oh, and take a shower too, and wear more deodorant. <laughs> well, you are doing well with that, so maybe don't have to add too much of it. But I'm thinking, yeah, new hairstyle would be good. <laughs> you just cut. Hey, news from us, story time. Stink Pants cut my hair, didn't you? Uh-huh. You've just got to undercut it now. You've still got to get on there with the clippers. I'm a little bit afraid of that. Uh. But I'll say do it anyway. you got to practice. Okay. It should have been done in winter while I can still wear a beanie. Oh, you can wear a cap instead. I might have to. I'll start wearing baseball caps. Being an old man looking like a young one. Yeah, do whatever you want. You'd be all in that. I'll have to dye my hair again, isn't it? I've given up doing that. Or just embrace old age like I should, trying to to keep on living the youth there. The last boyfriend I had, I broke up with him because Stardust didn't like him. Oh, that's no good, but... Well, you've got family comes first. Stardust is already part of the family. Isn't it? I wonder if we end up uh, adding to our family what old Ratbag will think. She might not be too happy with any new additions, but I want to make her. Yeah, I want to make her jealous so she gets becomes a friendlier cat. Because she's very, you know, only comes and shares the joy when she wants to. And uh, what was uh, Christmas like for everyone in terms of weather? Did you have a white Christmas? 
unlike our summer style that we have here. And I'm still trying to think of best New Year's resolutions to have. I've already made up my two or three. One of them I'm not going to say publicly, but mm -hmm. three of them. Mm -hmm. That's the plan this year. Yeah, good question, Spidey. Why didn't Stardust like the new boyfriend? Maybe they're not a dog person, who knows? And why was it only Stardust? What about the other two dogs? Did they like him? Because then you got a decision to make. Stardust <laughs> might be jealous of the extra attention. It could be that. And Spidey, do you have a New Year's resolution? What about Ephion? Anyone else? Well, we're done with that topic. I thought it'd be... Oh, it rained for Christmas for Ephion. That's no good. Um, although if you're spending it... <coughs> to, personally, I'd rather have a rainy Christmas than some of the really hot ones that we've had. Christmas story time. There was one year when I was living with a uh, group of international students that had never had a... They don't celebrate Christmas. They've never had a traditional Christmas uh, dinner. So I said, oh, we'll, we'll do that. We'll do the turkey and the roast and everything. And uh, they ended up getting one of their friends who didn't even buy, didn't even come for Christmas, but he was said to them, you've got to get a halal turkey because they were, at least half of them were Muslim. And they didn't care. They were like, oh, it doesn't matter that much. And he was insisting on it. So they ended up coming home with the biggest turkey that I've ever had to cook and one of the, probably the biggest one I've ever seen. So the problem with that was not everything fit in the oven. So I said, oh, we'll just cook the, the vegetables the night before and then cook the turkey the next day. But we couldn't even put the vegetables in the fridge because it had all of the, the other fixings. We did a, a very big, you know, there was 10 or 12 of us, I think, because they invited a couple of friends as well, mm. all sitting around the table. So it was a lot of food. So he cooked up the vegetables, and then the next day when we put the turkey in, pulled the vegetables out of the oven, half of them had gone off overnight because it was so hot. That was very disappointing. I had to trash half the vegetables. Oh, at least just half, not all, right? Yeah, but it was still a waste. Can you still eat the turkey? Yeah, because we cooked it that day. So the turkey was fine, but... I've never had uh, vegetables go off overnight, ever. Not even when it's warm here. So, yeah, that was a new experience for me. Okay, I know a cat who only wants attention. Uh, for Christmas Eve, it rains. So Spidey and Ephion both had rainy weather. Mm. Oh, and Penguin. Everyone's having a rainy Christmas except for us. Oh, he took attention away from her. Yeah, there you go. See, pets get jealous, you know. <laughs> I even dressed up for a surprise, but uh, something really fancy. Not really my style, but I did it for the season of Christmas and for her. So I got in the car and she still isn't there at her own home, so I call her. Now, there's more to this story still. The dog I had back then was Black Beauty, and he liked him because he liked sitting with him. You've got it. Here's the thing that I've also uh, experienced that, you know, when you meet, whether it's your, your partner or maybe some family or friends, you try to get along with the pets. I always do. You know, just give them a bit of time, a little bit of attention so that they love you too. There was one family of an ex that I had. The dog actually loved me more than it did its own family. True story. They'll even admit to it. Mm -hmm. They said, he, he loves you compared to us. Like, yeah, because I let him get away with stuff that you don't. This dog was very cheeky. He mm -hmm. wasn't allowed inside in their their house. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, when I had to take care of him, I'd let him in the house. So I guess that was a big advantage. But after that happened a couple of times, he used to come to the back door, open the back door, put three quarters of his body in, but leave his back legs out. So they couldn't really say anything. They thought it was hilarious. So like, so he's, he's worked it out. You know, I'm still outside. My back rump is out there. It's just the front legs are in. Oh, I think I know what I mean. 
and you, I might have to restart this one. Oh, you're getting close there, Stinky. Stardust was a puppy then and stole his iPods and chewed them up along with his credit cards. Wow. So from the very get-go, I'm guessing Stardust wasn't a big fan of the boyfriend to do that. Imagine getting your iPods chewed up. <laughs> and his credit cards. Both times I'd be saying, I'm not happy with your dog there. Isn't it? Mm-hmm. All right, now, how can I restart? Restart. You couldn't finish that one? It looked like you almost did. Yeah, I need to get that barrel down. Oh. Otherwise, I can't jump. So, that's why. It should be Fire Boy and Barrel Girl. What do you think of that, Stinky? You're a bit of a barrel girl. This is almost like a Christmas tune, isn't it? I wish someone would chew up my credit cards. Then oh, I'll, give it to me. I can do that. Oh, well, yeah. You'd chew it up <laughs> in the way that I don't want it chewed up. Isn't it? You damn stinky. And she said she would be home soon. Three hours later, she arrived home and I was finally able to get out of the cold. So she went into the, her yard and I was able to warm up a bit and we began to give out. Not sure what give out means. Give out presents, maybe. Look at you, your muffin top. I'm looking at your muffin top there, Stinky. I'm talking about hmm? the, the muffin, chocolate muffin that you've got on the table. I... Oh, we already ate all of that and this is like vanilla. <laughs> Not chocolate. Yep, that's right. <laughs> what about you? Mine's a hmm? barrel. No, mine's a. Oh, what's something? Huh? Big? What's ah! that? What's that? That's, that's enough of that. <laughs> oh, jeez. You give me a tummy ache, you do there, Stinky, with all that laughing on the inside. We used to take the turkey to the village, but yeah. Did you know that Ephion had a pet turkey? No. Nope. And pet pig, if I if my memory serves me correctly. He used to take the turkey to the village bakery. It was a local tradition that he would cook them. Oh no, hang on. No, 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 no. Ephion had a pet pig, not a pet turkey, because that story ends with him being cooked at the bakery. I've heard that. that there's, this is a very old tradition as well. That some some areas of the world they still practice, where the baker, you know, there's like a off. Hang on, I've got to try and think. That in the morning they would do the all of the baking of the bread and stuff, mm-hmm. and then uh, when you know you're talking like old old villages where not everyone could cook at home. So after the baker had baked his bread in the afternoon, he'd open up the shop again. Yeah. And you could go and take your food to the baker and he would cook it for you because he was the only one in town with an oven. Oh. That's an old tradition. Mm-hmm. Did you have anything like that in your culture or not really? Um, well, let me think. Mm-hmm. We don't cook with the oven that much. Yeah, that's true, isn't it? A lot of... Uh, we have something else like when you cook the chicken we don't even have turkey <sighs> you put in the what do you call the pot the that made from the soy the mud what do you call that clay pot yeah clay pot and that's like you cook in that yeah as a big big village gathering Oh, individually at home. I think you, everyone can cook in there. I wonder if there's the, another way to cook the chicken whole with the hay. Have oh you yes. Try that. No. I wonder if that imparts a flavour. And for if you I hope that the baker gets very good at doing turkey over time, so that it doesn't dry out. Because I would have thought if you're doing it in a baker's oven that it'd dry out very easily. Hello, you know, what do I know about baker's ovens? Nothing. Nothing. Uh, 
was able to oh, give our gifts to one another. So he did one at a time. But before I continue, I must tell you a very strange instance. <clears throat> before she got there, so it was 6am and I get into my car, but an envelope flew into the window. Have you ever had that experience? Something flying into the car. Whatever. Oh, and the other thing I'd ask if you on if you if the baker does the roast turkey, do you do the roast vegetables at home, or do you get him to cook them, or her, her to cook them as well? Because I'd like that tradition. Imagine that you go around with all your neighbours and say, "Here, cook my turkey, baker," and then may, maybe stand around, sit around, and have a cup of coffee while you wait. Well, like for turkey, you're probably having ten cups of coffee coffee and waiting 10 hours my last two boyfriends have me gave me rocks for Christmas and the one before gave me a small seashell uh, red December I'm hoping these boyfriends are from when you were a ch- you know younger person because if they're doing that as an adult would you like some rocks and a, a seashell for Christmas what kind of rock diamond is a rock <laughs> Uh, yeah, give me that. Uh, I'm going to get into more trouble. Oh, that's the other thing. What is Uh-oh. the traditional 10-year anniversary? I don't know what, what that involves, but don't believe the jewellers. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, you asked me no, what they... I want. <laughs> that's it. The, the deal. That's all. <laughs> you don't. But this is the thing. You don't even wear the stuff that I've bought you. I is it? Wear. The the only thing that it's I've seen. It's not something you wear often. All the time. How can you do that? The only things that I've seen you wear semi regularly are the ruby earrings. But you don't wear the. You don't wear your diamond at all. That gets pulled out once or twice a year. Yeah. Of course. And then it's it, not something you wear every day unless you work in the office. That gorgeous tape. Well, you're supposed to wear it every day for ownership. Blah. Because I own you. Don't be ridiculous. <laughs> you can't do your job with that thing on. You heard some story about the. Um, what is it? The chef or <laughs> someone lost his ring? And it fall into the food, and the customer just basically chew it. Whoa! I'm like, oh, good rings. <laughs> That's not from my partner. <laughs> oh, all right, don't wear it. Uh, did the veg at home? He never charged, but had a collection tin for local charities. That's very kind, isn't it? For the baker to do that. So he'll do all of the hard work with the turkey. You do the more simple work with the vegetables at home because that doesn't take as long and you only got to turn them once or twice. I love that tradition, Atheon. I reckon that's great. For Red December, she said that the, the rocks and seashell boyfriends were around 30 years old. Were they special rocks like Stink Pants is saying? Because I would be a little bit disappointed with that, to say, to say the least. And I'm a non romantic guy aren't I stinky Mm -hmm. you're not supposed to agree with me you're supposed to say I'm super romantic just not with you because you're my arch nemesis sure just give me the anniversary I want okay I don't know what that's going to involve (laughs) (laughs) all right we need to change topics yet again first thing give me Christmas gift first (laughs) (laughs) How about some rocks and a seashell? Is that good enough? Um, how about abalone? <laughs> did you? That's wh- a seashell, kind of. Where did I see that cheap abalone? No, I'm not gonna tell you. I want fresh one. Oh, <laughs> you're on the cooked. F- the fresh nice stuff's gonna lake. cost you. A- you know what? Yes, for we will go to down Actually, to the I don't coast, know. and I'll try and get. Maybe my mate to go diving for them. I don't even know if I can do it these days. But you can get fresh abalone right off the rocks down there. So if you want to try that, we'll do that. Ah, uh, never mind. I tr- we tried abalone once, but that place didn't cook it very well. So I'm not sure I'm going to like it. 
So what I like is the crayfish and lobster. <laughs> yeah, well, that's the other thing we didn't do. Seafood this year. Seashell, seashell. You want, you want a crayfish <laughs> seashell. <laughs> that's it, yeah. Red December, if you got a crayfish seashell with the meat inside, that would be a good present. That's what we want to have. And I'm still more curious about Ephion's tradition. Like, do, does everyone in, in town do that? And uh, what happens when you you come home? Like you just plop the turkey on the table, bring out the roast veggies. I'd like to do that one year, but I don't think our bakers will do it here. Mm. Uh, back in my day, dark elixir troops didn't even exist. Yet yeah, they were still in development. We remember those days, don't we, Stinky? Mm. You play Clash of Clans long enough. And apparently, with Penguin's story, you got a letter four days earlier than what it was supposed to arrive bit of supernatural here come the hiccups bit of supernatural business going on there mm-hmm. so it was very strange so I go under the drive and as I'm driving through the fog I see some light and as I look to see uh, it, what it is I'm still in shock it was all my pedestrian uh, past relatives Christmas having Christmas breakfast oh did they is Christmas breakfast a thing? We never do it, do we? No. <laughs> well, basically, because I've got it, not that it happened this year, but I got up, usually get up really early to prepare the turkey and the veggies. So, you know, it takes hours for that to cook, and then by that time it should be lunch. But mm. we just did it late this year, and it ended up being dinner. Mm-hmm. And I don't know if I should try what Spidey just wrote, because that's a tongue twister. Can you say seashell? She sells seashells by the seashore. Can you type that? <laughs> it is. It's type. Seashell, seashell by the seashore. Is that what? That's what they say. Seashell, seashell by the seashore. Oh, it's supposed to be she sells. She sell. Seashells. Type. Oh, Submit. you want? You want me to type it? Hang on. Saying it alone is just. Remember it. <laughs> it's all the same. <laughs> there you go. She sells seashells by the seashore. Yes. She sells seashell by the seashore. She sells seashell by the seashore. <laughs> See? Not that easy, is it? <laughs> she sells seashell by the seashore. Oop, I was supposed to say sells. She sells. She sells seashells by the seashore. Okay, how about you? How fast can you then? I can't, because I've got a lisp, so it sounds funny. Okay, Poodot, here's a weird troop strategy. Use all yetis. Did we do that in the stream? I'm not sure if we have. Yetis are not bad troops to use. I'll, I'll give him that. They're very effective at times, aren't they? What is this thing? You seem to be progressing in the game quite well. There you go, Spidey's got it right, or it's meant to be cells. See, sh- see, I can't do it. And I'll try and get you, can you say toast ten times fast? Toast? Yep. Do I have to pronounce it like toast? Or just toast, 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 toast? <laughs> you gotta say the actual word. Toast. Ten toast. times fast. You can't really, right? You yeah, have you to. St- what? What about st at the end? As toast. fast as you can. Toast, 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 toast. <laughs> what do you put in a toaster? Bread. Oh, you can't trick stink pants. Why? <laughs> what is the trick? Well, actually, I got that completely wrong. You meant to say roast ten times. <laughs> 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 oh, Uncle Peter, it's just lost his mind. Uh. They all look at me and wave hello, but I drive on and finally I arrived at her house. I get out of my car and since I'm holding presents, I can't really close the car door as it needs lots of pressure. Mm. I know about that every time we go shopping, isn't it, Stink Pants? Thanks for your help. No worries. I was being facetious. Huh? 
<laughs> Same, oh. oh, hang on. Spidey's got another one. Same ah. motor oil, five times fast. Motor oil. oil? Yeah. Motor oil, motor oil, motor oil, motor oil, motor oil, motor oil. That was six, but you did it. I think it was six. I was counting. Okay. But there's got to be a second part to this. <laughs> I think, anyway. <laughs> Or well, maybe he just wants to hear you say motor oil. That could be it. Next thing you know, mm. someone's doing a search on YouTube for motor oil and this stream pops up. Probably. <laughs> and seashells. Ah, <laughs> oh, dear. Now, I don't know whether I should be talking about uh, the, the channel at the moment, but... Again, going back to kind of New Year's resolutions, I'm wanting to do a few different things in the future, but I don't know how the DLG would feel about it. For example, not saying that we're going to do it, but for example, shortening the streams to maybe somewhere between an hour, an hour and a half. But then if we can do it at all, possibly two streams a week or at least another different kind of video which takes a lot more time because we haven't been doing those at all. And every now and again, I'd like to throw in something new. That's the thing. I want to try doing yoga this year and I'm going to book one. What yoga. Kane said, uh, I said the F word. I didn't do that, did I? Did I? Eh? I'm pretty sure I didn't say the F word. I don't hear it. Yeah, I don't remember saying it. Oh, he's gotten rid of it, so maybe I didn't. How about, oh, here's another tongue twister. I can't what? even read that. <laughs> what? Round and round the ragged rock, the ragged rascal ran. Try that one. Round and round the ragged rock, the ragged rascal ran. What is rascal? Rascal's like a naughty boy or a naughty person. Someone that's a little, you're, you, you're a rascal. <laughs> that's what a rascal is, you. <laughs> Look it up in the dictionary and it's going to have stink pants. So you know what it is now? What's a rascal? Stink pants. Meh. No comment from that. Can you say that one fast? Oh, I'm not sure. Um, where is it? Round and round the ragged rock. The ragged rascal ran. Hang on, let me make it faster. Let me register it first. Ding, <laughs> <laughs> ding, 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 ding. Three, two, one. Round and round the racket rock, the racket rascal ran. Round and round the racket rock, the racket rascal ran. You're pretty good. You're good at the old tongue twisters. You can do strange things with your tongue, though. So I reckon that's what, part of it. What you mean, rolling? Really? Yeah, you can make it do different shapes. Yeah. Um, no. How do you do that? It's in the G. It's genetic. Is it? Yeah. Some people can't. Yeah, I couldn't. Mm. It's genetic. I learned this in like high school biology. Like having a widow's peak or a second toe bigger than the the. Uh, uh, I big didn't toe. learn that, but like curly hair is dominant gene. So if your dad has and your mother doesn't. You have, have like half, half a chance to get it. Right. Detached earlobes or earlobes are attached? What do you mean? See, both, both you and I have the That's same... That's a recessive gene, by the way. Is it? <laughs> yeah. No, no. My two sisters got it. Got big ones and attached. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm, I'm the only one in the sibling group who doesn't have it. Wow, I would have thought the entire family would be this. Oh, no, maybe not if your parents are yeah. opposites. My dad has, my mom doesn't have. Oh, there you go. Mm. Well, I've learned something new today. And then there's that little hard dimple thing at the top of the what? ear. You and I don't have it. Some people do. It's like a little little ball or something at the top of your ear there. Oh, yeah. Might be again. Oh. To close it when uh, randomly some random person with a oh. white beard comes up and asks me if he can help me. Nice. And close my car door and helps me to get to the porch and drop all the presents to the float. That white bearded man was Santa. 
Yes, what Peter said, what I could meant, I was meaning that is motor oil. And me, question mark, Ethion. I think I was asking Ethion something before, but I've got such a terrible memory. You talk too much, that's why. Well, someone's got to, you stinky. Yeah, but you listen to, you just ask and you better listen to the answer first, right? Before you go for another one. What were you saying? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, Pudot. Anyway. Um, I can't remember the f festival that we do something like that, but I know we, even now and then, we have like a um, Buddhist kind of festival that you might go to the temple and you cook together. Oh. And then, yeah, you just do some offering and do some festive thing there for the monks. religious thing so yeah. do you cook for the monks or is it for everyone everyone including monks they get to eat first though right yeah they have to eat first there you go oh kane's got another one for you how much oh, wood oh. would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood what is today <laughs> <laughs> it's the tongue twisters stream <laughs> hey oh i have to restart this one I think so let me try this where is it <laughs> where where canes how much wood wood uh wood chuck chuck what is wood chuck anyway a bird if the wood could chuck wood bird I think so how much wood wood a uh, wood chuck chuck okay this is wood and wood what well, can you pronounce make it different for me how wood. much wood would a woodchuck chuck if is it woodchuck wood? could chuck wood? Yeah, but wood and this wood and wood. They're pronounced the same. Oh, okay. Then. <laughs> <laughs> Time for my beauty sleep. Good night, folks. Thank you for joining Ephion. I know it's very late for him. Okay, have a good so night. Merry a... Christmas and Happy New Year. Yep. Set it for me there, Stinky. Mm. All right. Hang on. Where is it? How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if the woodchuck could chuck wood? Well, Kane's saying the stream ended, but I don't think it has. I think maybe just you've stopped playing. No, I just restarted. Let me just check on the health. No, it's still... Uh, it's saying that the video is not optimal, but it's not saying it's stopped. It looks like it's still going. Mm -hmm. um, no, I, I have to pause to do your challenge, Kane. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Spidey said the, they're both saying it ended. No, no, no. Oh, no, Stinky pressed the wrong button. Yeah. Um, restart. Do I you want to check from here? No, check from here. It looks like it's still going according to everything on our computer. They didn't hear us. Oh, so they're all... Wow, that's strange. Red December said I had to restart the video and it's working again. Ah. Oh. That had to happen. Pudot would have to say something by now, so it had to end. So, uh, I'm really not sure what what happened there. I hope it's got nothing to do with that. Um, I turned off the <laughs> sponsorship thing because that was playing problems with a previous stream. And I've turned it off, so I hope they're not trying to force their way into doing that sponsorship, not sponsorship thing again. Mm -hmm. But no, they're saying it's working again, so uh, thank you very much, Uncle Pudot. I'll see you next week. So, I don't know, Spidey's saying it's working again now. Let me just type this. Mm. Hang on, try re. I can't even spell. Oh, what's on the roof? No, nah, that was Moo Moo. Ah. Oh, I can't spell at all.
Oh. Yeah, my typing's terrible. Yeah, so, uh, sorry, Peter, it works for a second, I'll be back. Yeah, I'm not too sure what happened there, because I noticed um, the the people watching dropped off suddenly. So that was very odd. It happened in the last stream as well. So I do question whether or not it's the app trying to force the uh, advertising. But I mentioned it in the last stream that they're not paying us, so I'm not going to let them advertise. Simple as that. I had to exist, exit out of YouTube and go back. Oh, so actually had to go out, out. Spidey's saying it works now. Mm. Kane's saying it works now. Mm. How much... <laughs> well, he's saying again, how much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? Oh. I don't even need to look at that to be able to say it. It's an old... Old one for us. How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if the woodchuck could chuck wood? Not bad. Given that the English isn't even your native language, is it? Do you think your English skills have improved since you've met me? Yeah. Only with the profanities. <laughs> <laughs> Not in the stream. <laughs> no, your English skills have improved. Including the profanities. <laughs> Uncle Pooter, the British Empire has helped the stream back as well as the Arctic Empire. So then I'd have to say, uh, I'm going to cheer for the Barmy Army in this uh, Boxing Boxing Day test series. Go England! <laughs> well, hopefully there's no Australians listening. Uh, what other videos would you do cooking maybe? Yes, well let's... One red December because we've actually been asked to do that, do some cooking stuff. But this is where um, I'm going to get a little bit serious and Stink Pants and I are still debating about this. So I'm not going to mention the channel, but there is a channel on YouTube that is notorious for um, being controversial and... There's supposedly a documentary that's coming out in a few days. And I've always... I don't want to get involved in the commentary scene. I don't want to get involved in the drama scene that's on YouTube. Um, you know, they, they can report on whatever they like. Uh, but what I was hoping to do is explore this person's presence on YouTube just because... I don't think most of the people who follow him and most of them aren't his fans, they're his detractors, but uh, they're probably not aware of how much of a presence he has online. I'm sure some of them do, but I've never seen a video that actually explores all of the channels that this guy's got because some of them are quite well hidden. So I was hoping to do this and release it around the same time as the documentary of course for views i mean that's the main reason for doing it but not giving a personal opinion on what i think of this person and what they do online but the reason i'm bringing it up and maybe you guys can assist with this as well it's very risky because when you start producing that type of content you know there's going to be backlash one way or the other Either his fans are going to backlash and, uh, you know, maybe Oi. come and, and uh, bombard your channel. Or maybe it's the people that don't like him that do it. So it's a no-win situation. But if you do it in... I'm hoping that if we can do it in just a very diplomatic way, that people can't be offended either way. And it's just out of curiosity. I was just curious. I don't watch this person's content. I sometimes watch the, the drama stuff about him from other channels. But yeah, so it's more... The, the future stuff is much more about bringing in a bigger audience and getting more views. Like that's the main reason for doing it. It'll still be mainly streams until we grow uh, considerably more. Because there's some stuff that we want to do in the future that, to be protected, we have to have a much bigger channel to do that. So I'd love to hear your thoughts on all of that from the DLG. Um, 
And then, yeah, some, we always had a plan to do a cooking series. This was one of the original ideas that we had for YouTube. So it's not like a typical... We'll just say it's not like a typical, you know, here's the recipe, here's how you cook it style uh, videos. Hopefully they'll be a little bit funny. But I don't know if we've got the humour to do that. Uh, oh, Kane's got another one for you. Peter Piper picked a pack of... <laughs> You're struck hard. can't already. do that. Peter Piper picked a pack, pack of pickled peppers. Pick, pickled peppers. How many pickled peppers did pe Peter Piper pick? <laughs> Try that one. That one's <laughs> tough. Peter... Piper or Piper? Piper. Piper. Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled peppers. How many pickled peppers did Peter Piper pick? And I think it's meant to be pack, not peck. But that wasn't bad either. Uh, Uncle Peter, no matter what, I will support you. Thank you, Penguin, because the reality is if we do start producing I'm not going to say controversial but you know it gets a bit more serious and the other thing is I really don't want the DLG particularly the, the younger audience to go exploring some of the stuff that I might put in a video because I don't want you to be influenced by that kind of stuff it's um, you know something that's maybe a lot more popular but particularly for the younger people it's I would suggest not good content for them to watch. But, you know, it is all about... It's the YouTube game. You've got to do views and uh, every now and again throw out something different to try and bring in a bigger audience, just that sort of thing. And we might need your support after that. Uh, I'll also support you to the end. Uh, and anyone in the DLG, oh, look at them. They're so nice to us, aren't they? Thank you, Spidey. Appreciate that. Uh, looks like Stinky's having trouble with this level. What level are you on? I don't know. <laughs> He's struggling a bit on this one. You've progressed quite a lot. Hold on, it stopped again. Oh, they're doing it again. Oh, this is not... Okay. Restart your screen's exit again, friends. It's back. I'm really sorry, guys. I don't know why, because it seems to be continuous on our end. I keep seeing your messages and I keep seeing the the uh, gameplay, so I'm not too sure. And again, it makes me question whether it's the app or not. I don't. But I switched it off. I said no to your, your darn partnership, uh, partnership program. If you're not going to pay me, I don't want to be part of it. All but right. Peter Packer. <laughs> Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled pepper. How many pickled pepper did Peter Piper pick? <laughs> nice one. Uh, that was good. So Red December is asking, would you mark the videos 18 plus? No. And there's a couple of reasons for that. Um, nothing that would be shown would be adults only. It's just my personal opinion is, you know, the kids probably wouldn't be interested anyway. And if they do get interested what i'm saying is like oh enjoy the video that we create but then don't go and look for you know if you start looking at those channels or other channels that talk about those channels oh. that's where i say you'll get sucked into a bit of a wormhole that um you know if i was a parent i'd i guess what i'm saying is if it was my children i'd be saying you're not allowed to watch that stuff Whereas what I'm doing is just purely exploring the topic, just saying, oh, well, look, you know, you might not be aware that this is out there and that's out there. I don't recommend you check it out, just letting you know it's there. So that sort of thing. But even in, in the video itself, I'd have to be very careful of saying that because I don't want people to think I'm on either side of the fence because I'm not. I'm a fence sitter. It, it doesn't bother me. It's not going to affect my life at all, whether or not uh, this person gains or loses popularity. So, yeah, I wouldn't... That, that's the first thing. And then the second part to the 18 plus is if you do market 18 plus, you're going to get a lot less views anyway. So it wouldn't be... For sure, YouTube itself wouldn't consider it 18 plus. 
because you're not really going into that side. Um, the new Xbox is the Xbox Series X. Thank you for that official MX. I was wondering what the, the latest one was. Um, now the second, the second video that I was thinking of doing, because we are on the topic of the old uh, 18 plus or not, what was the, I had it on the tip of my tongue and now it's, it's gone, I've lost it. You're laughing. I did. It was a, a second thing that I wanted to, to explore though. Just to say, oh, you know, you've got these two. If it comes to me, I will um, <coughs> say it again. So, <coughs> well, Red December, for the, the the one that I've been talking about, if we do do it, yeah, I've got to get on it quickly because it'll be timely news in the sense of something coming out at that time. So you've got to try and produce it at the time. That's the second one uh, that I wanted to talk about. So this one is much more serious. And again, I don't think necessarily 18 plus, but um, you guys have heard me talk about uh, this before, but I'll get a little bit more specific now. So... And I'm sorry, we're, we're doing a bit of a serious time now. Uh, so, a bit of a warning to the younger audience as well, just because it might be a, a little bit of a mature topic. But one of the things that really concerns me about social media, the influences, and some of the channels that are on YouTube, is despite the content they produce, they might... Uh, you know, from an outsider looking in, you might say, oh, well, you know, one channel's just talking about fashion and makeup and this sort of thing, and another channel's just doing mukbang. Um, I do have issues with these, these uh, some topics, like mukbang I do have a little bit of an issue with. If you're just having a normal meal or whatever and you actually enjoy that content, that's fine. But if you're doing things that are very unhealthy for you, then I do have an issue with that. Because you've got a big... You know, there is one channel we've talked about him before that basically eats a lot of junk food, more than you should as a human being, and very big meals. And he's slowly... Uh, I can't use the words, but hopefully you can get what I'm getting at here that... You know, he might not live for that long at the rate that he's going. Now, the flip side of that is there's someone that has a... Um, again, I've got a skirt around the actual words, but has a psychological condition that, again, may end their life early. And these people have big audiences and big channels, and I would like to explore that. Not in, in depth. I don't want to go into, you know, who... Uh, how do you put it, like snippets of their videos and things maybe, but not a commentary on who they are. But it's more to say, hey, YouTube, like, what are you doing? Why are you allowing this stuff? It, it probably shouldn't be on the platform because, yeah, I do worry. I worry about the, the younger people that they might get influenced and even older people as well that you might get influenced because people do that. They copy each other, say, oh, look at this channel, it's doing really well. So if I do the same thing, maybe I'll do really well. But what they're doing is quite dangerous and not good for the health. So that's something else that I'd like to explore. But as I said, much more serious topics. And, you know, again, with the younger audience, I'm not encouraging you to go and look at these things. I want to make that absolutely clear. But this is why I say, yeah, you know, it's risky. What does a DLG think? Because you and I have had plenty of talks about this, haven't we, Stink Pants? Um, excuse me for a moment, but like in this one, Koda, mm -hmm. it's just show me like nine minutes, which is hot. I don't know where the rest it goes. I'm pretty sure it's more than one hour already. Mm. But then when they have the problem with the stream, it kind of restart the time here as well right because that one on mine it's still normal so i'm not too sure what's going on there we might have to look into it seeing as it's been two weeks in a row 
Well, for all we know, maybe YouTube's doing something in the background that's affecting things. Who knows? Uh, so. Oh, no! <sighs> I'm back again. Oh, so that's all. Hang on, I'm a little bit behind in the... Oh, gee, it looks like it stopped again for them. So, sorry for that, guys. Not too sure. <laughs> it means the views go up because they keep going in and out. But it's not good for continuous watch time. Doesn't matter. Uh, so, it's... where were we? Are these... Tw oh, no, I read that already. I completely agree, Uncle Peter. So, well... Maybe it's not so so bad to, to look at these things. It's like doing a public service is the way I'm looking at it. Because I sometimes feel that we're not doing enough videos to help. Because that was part of the reason of getting into YouTube as well. You know, to make some money and hopefully help people along the way. Um, or throwing food away. Yeah, well that's true too. Um, and I'll say generally, I'll say generally speaking... There's some prank stuff that I think just shouldn't be on YouTube. Like, you know, I suppose if it's a funny thing that you do at home with the family and friends, that's one thing. But, you know, if you're going out annoying people in public, I don't necessarily agree with that. Because if it was me down the street and someone did that to me, number one, I wouldn't want to be filmed. Number two, I wouldn't want to be put on YouTube. You know, and if it's a particularly bad prank, then yeah, just it shouldn't be there. Maybe I'm getting a little bit too conservative in my old age. I don't know. But I can just see that it influences people and not necessarily in a good way. Uh, are you talking about the people that make jumbo type junk food? So not quite spidey. Like if you're talking, and I enjoyed watching, um, I've got to think of that channel with the bearded guy that they would make this huge uh, plate of, of junk food, but they didn't sit there and eat the entire thing. I'm trying to think what that... It was a very popular um, channel back oh. in the day with Harvey or someone. I'm trying to think what the name is. Oh, that's going to annoy me now. So that that's okay. Like, if they're doing something... You know, if it's like a Mr. Beast with food, I have no problem with that. That's just purely for entertainment. It's more where um, you've got people that are, they're gorging. Again, I'd have to say, just to clarify, if you're a professional eater, again, I don't really understand the entertainment value, but if you've trained your body to be able to do things that it shouldn't naturally do, and, you know, these guys, Stinky, you might know more about this. They have to get professional health checkups before they can do this sort of thing, isn't it? I have no idea. No. Oh. I, oh, no! I almost make it. Oh. <laughs> I'm guessing that, you know, if you start doing the professional food eating circuit, you've got to have a bill of health to be able to do it. Like, that, say that Matt Stone guy... Now, I don't particularly find what he does entertaining, but that's just personal preference. But he looks relatively healthy. And he's not doing, as far as I know, he's not doing those challenges every day. But I'm talking about where you've just got a normal person that's not a professional, if you can call it that, that are doing things to their body that one day, you know, it's, it's going to end up biting them, you know. I actually don't mind watching some of the food competition i like it yeah you do and i've but seen you watch it it's more like um it also the depends on the person as well like there was one japanese girl her name is gal sone i i quite a big fan of her yeah so i like me, yeah. that yeah. particular character and personal and whatever so it's fun to watch like yeah. When she has a competition, for example, they have to eat as much as they can, the bread. Yeah. And then they will only measure how many kilos or how many grams of the bread that you ate. Mm. But they also give you some jams and whatnot to eat to it goes make it kind e of... Make you know, it easier to eat. Yeah. Mm. But it doesn't count though. And she end up eat a whole lot of jam. <laughs> <laughs> 
That'd be here, right? Like, well, it doesn't even count. And she's like, you know, it, but it tastes good. <laughs> If you count how much bread and jam, she gonna kind of win in that round already. Oh. But no, it's only count for bread. So she just just got past through that round. I say. But it's fun to watch that kind of person. <laughs> Okay, I can see your capacity, but you might not pass. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, okay, so Uncle Peter, do you believe eventually YouTube will complete change for the better or worse? Wow, that's a great question. Um, I think we're still in early days when it comes to. Not just YouTube, but the internet. I mean, it's not been around that long. My personal hope—I'm not going to say it's belief, but I, I hope that the world will. Oh no! Oh dang it! I hope that the uh, world will continue where the number of good people outweigh the bad people, because when it comes to the internet, good people can become bad. So in their real life, they're they're good people, but when they get on the internet, they're not so good. And I understand that from a psychological perspective that you want to vent, get your frustrations out. And what, when I say what better way to do it, I don't mean it is a good way, but you know what easier way to do it than to go and do things online that are very negative, because for the most part, you can get away with it. So you know that's my fear that. I don't want to see the world where it becomes more like that because it is becoming more like that. Now, when it comes to the responsibility of the social media platforms, it's very difficult for them, you know, to play devil's advocate. It's difficult for them to monitor and control. There's no way no one YouTube can do it. You know, with the amount of stuff that gets uploaded every day, every minute, every second. They can't check everything. It's just not possible, even with AI bots and human uh, monitoring. They'll never be able to keep up, and other big social platforms are the same. So you're always going to have that problem. They, there, it's but it's like the law. The law always plays catch up as well. It's never ahead of. Um, I was about to say crimes, but uh, breaking. The law itself is never ahead of breaking the law. It's always playing catch up. So yeah, I hope things improve over time, and uh, it just we'll have to wait and see. Sounds a bit wish washy as an answer, doesn't it? But uh, yeah, so we'll see what happens there. And yeah, Spidey says I'd say good and bad. So I agree with that. Um, no problem. What's popular now is ladies who film ASMR videos skirt, shirt scratching. Yeah, I've heard that too. And this is another. Again, don't don't get me wrong. Like ASMR is very popular. I just don't understand it because you don't you don't get that feeling either, right? Stink pants. Yeah, it works for some people, but not for us. Maybe like hypnotism, it works for some people and not for others. Okay, I need to concentrate. Yeah, you're right. Uh, I don't think that should be on YouTube. Well, yeah, and this is where. So this now brings the discussion to where do you draw the line, and that's a very difficult decision to make, because what you might find as a matter of personal taste, not of your interests, does that necessarily mean that it shouldn't be there? And then to go even heavier. Free speech, you know, should you allow it in all its forms, or should you restrict it in certain ways? And I guess to play devil's advocate once more, YouTube is a private company; they can do whatever they want. You know, if you don't, um, and the people that argue against it, honestly, I think the majority just talk about money because. YouTube itself is not going to stop you unless it's really, really bad stuff. You know, law-breaking stuff they're not going to allow on the platform. But if you want to talk about the, <laughs> I can't even use the words because I know it could possibly uh, we get the yellow symbol. But 
we avoid certain words all the time just because we know that we're not going to make money if we talk about those things. But then you can't argue, well, it's restricting free speech because it's not. You can still talk about those things, just don't expect to get paid. That's the way I look at it. And I love the fact that people do um, upload things that are very controversial, that make people think. But if they start complaining about being restricted, I'd say no. Because YouTube's not going to restrict you unless you're doing illegal things. You just might not get paid. So, it's a, yeah, that's what I'll say about that. Okay, so, yeah, I do have to agree it's a bit weird to read this. And, yep, I'd agree with that too. But, you know, again, personal tastes. I'm sure in amongst the DLG and us, I, even Stink Pants and I don't share the same uh, interests when it comes to entertainment on YouTube, do we? The stuff that no. you generally watch is not things that I watch and vice versa. Mm -hmm. So, you have them both. And if you don't want to watch it, don't watch it. I guess that's the other way to look at it. But yeah, when it comes to influence and things, that's where I'd say there are ways where you can allow these people to exist, but you don't necessarily have to promote their content. And that's the problem I have because YouTube does. They'll promote the content. It's like, well, you probably shouldn't do that. Uh, I exited and I'm back, so it did stop and start again. So sorry for that, guys. I really don't understand what's going on with that at the moment. Hopefully it'll be sorted out on another stream. I can see that the, the people watching goes up and down though, mm. as in it drops suddenly and then picks up again. <coughs> uh, that is very true, Uncle Pudot. I wish uh, people wouldn't though. Yeah, well that's it. So, um, there, there might be ways in the future where they take a really hardline stance and say we're not going to allow things that are just not family friendly. And again, private company, they can do what they want. Maybe that's the answer. Because we knew going into it that we were going to produce family friendly content. Sometimes it might be a bit more mature than others, but hopefully we would, we would uh, let you know beforehand that you know the next videos might be a bit more serious. So, uh, we're here, Stardust, too. Nice one. Hello, Stardust. How are you doing there? Hey, any of the DLG here? I'm, not, I'm lonely. No, that looks like they're all back again. Uh, I mean, Poodot, I really don't understand it, too. <laughs> oh, dear. Uncle Poodot, you and Aunt Stink are the most real and honest and brilliant people I've ever met. Uh, that's a huge compliment, and I'd say you're quite correct when it comes to stink pants. There you go, I gave you a compliment, Stinky. Thank you, I still need the, you know, Christmas gift. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't count. Oh no! Ah! You got close, is it still the same level or have you progressed a little bit? Uh, I don't know, last time you washed, which one is this one? Is no, you, you have okay, progressed. Yeah. Anyway, you finish your drama thing? Uh, oh, what was the song called? I don't know if, I've, if you're talking about this one. Oh, gee, I've got to get to it before it stops playing. I don't even know where it is. Oh, we better do that. How can I find out where it is? Uh, what is it? Spring in my step. Spring in my step, silent partner. Hold on, what is your, well, from your life experience, Christmas, New Year gift, which one is the most popular that people actually doesn't want? Clothing. <laughs> huh? Clothing. That people also don't want it? The, well, because you might buy the wrong fashion, and if you're younger, you might not want clothing at all. That's what I'd say, in my experience. Okay. In your experience, how about in the whole community here, what is the popular present that no one actually really wanted? <laughs> but you have to, if you can't think of anything else, you're going to buy this. Yeah, I'd still say clothing, still clothing, but I could be wrong about that. Okay. That's just my own perspective. 
maybe gift cards as well. Oh, I be, like it. Yeah, you do, but well, a lot of people say there's no effort to that. That's good. So we can pick whatever we want. Well, that's true too. You know, in my country, there are two things. The most popular that people kind of... I don't want this when you got it is... Tao! A Tao! Oh, uh, yeah. Because usually it's not good quality whatsoever. Mm-hmm. Just buy it. It might look nice in the box, but then when you use it... Oh, my God. <laughs> Huh? And then you have too many towels already. <laughs> too many towels. And the second one is socks. Yep, towels and socks. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, this kind of clothes. Uh, no, 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 it's fine, Peter. I can live with it. Uh, what is I uh, type the song there for you? I wonder what changes YouTube will do for the new year. Yeah, I'm wondering whether there's going to be big changes or not as well. Sometimes they don't announce them, sometimes they do. You just got to roll with the punches, really. And stopped again. Wow. I was watching a video before it stopped again. How long has Stink Pants been a gamer girl? I don't even know the answer to that. I, I'm not really a gamer girl. I just play whatever he wants. Yeah, secret. <laughs> She's not really a gamer girl. <laughs> Neither of us planned for the channel. To be, uh, I guess, a gaming channel. We never planned to do live streams either, did we? It really just fell in our lap thanks to one of the original DLGs and said, you know, you should try different games and live streaming. And so we did that. The uh, Gabe, I'll call him now, seeing as he changed the name, um, taught me how to do all of this in some private Discord calls. But yeah, the truth is, um, unless you're talking Clash of Clans, well, when I first met you, I mean, you made me play Heyday. Uh, not not Heyday. <laughs> not Heyday, what just is it? Farm Girl, Farmville. Sunville, something. Farmville. But yeah, neither of us are really big gamers, are we? Except for Clash of Clans. Not big gamers. I like to play games, just not that big. Uh, hopefully, more understanding to the YouTubers. We can hope for that, Penguin. Um, whenever there's money involved, you've always got to take things with a grain of salt and with a company that large they're all about the money so it doesn't mean that they they won't try and do positive things because i believe they have oh. for for a lot of uh youtubers yeah. that complain i do believe they are making steps to to make things a bit better so uh, hopefully it will continue to improve and i have seen even uh, recently, they do promote some smaller YouTubers, which they never used to do, so that's good too. Uh, Random's back, that's good. Good to see you back there. Uh, so we've been having a very serious discussion this last half an hour or so, isn't it? But I like these types of discussions too. It's good to have fun and good to get serious as well. Oi. Come on, get it. Ugh. You're doing well there, water girl. Uh, I'm a boy at the moment. I'm fire boy and you're water girl. I'm fire boy because I beat you in the chili challenges. You're water girl because you get scared and you pee your pants. Don't you, Stinky? Uh, I didn't pee my pants. I guess that chili thing. I'd like to ask the DLG, what is it that you would like to see uh, change? What is it that would be better for the internet or for social media or YouTube? What would be good things uh, that would improve the world around us? Because, you know, it's a great information highway, but some of the information's not great. <laughs> I guess uh. that's one way to put it. That's good. I want to see more people in the DLG. I've been working on it. it the, it's hard with the streams itself because of when we stream. I know that, you know, even the people who were in earlier on, like Ephion, for example, it's very late at night. And Red December's probably fallen asleep as well because she tends to take a bit of a nap during the streams because it's late where she is. So the actual live chat is harder to, to get more people in. Um, the channel itself seems to grow a bit, but a lot of them don't know about the DLG. I've been doing little hints here and there, and then occasionally we'll come across 
uh, comments or people saying that you know they they've been supporting us for a long time, and a lot of them are silent as well. So it is difficult to gauge all of that. Yeah, Bright Lightning hasn't been around for a while. I hope he's okay. He might just have holiday. Yeah, he's still active in the Discord, and I've had some private messages with him. How should I get on my right-hand side? You can do it. It also seems to come in waves as well. So you'll have the DLG show up regularly, and then they might disappear for a bit. Like Aesthetic Ocean's not here today, and... Oh. Um, uh-huh. I keep forgetting how to pronounce her name. The the other one that's your best friend, Stinky. She's changed the channel name once or twice. Little Milne or, or something like that. Uh, I want to see less promotion of larger YouTubers and more promotion of smaller ones. Yeah, look, I think that's good too, Penguin, because the larger ones are very much established anyway. And that's and not not wanting to take away from their success. Good on them. They've worked hard to get where they are. But I do agree. Like there's no need to promote promote those people as much. You should be promoting the smaller YouTubers because they're the ones that really struggle, um, and they're often the ones that put in um, not a lot more hard work, but different kind of hard work. So. You know, the people might look at our channel and say, oh, all you're doing is gaming, streaming, and just talking rubbish while you stream. But there's a lot more involved that people don't see in order to, to get where we've got. It is a lot of hard work. You know, you don't just upload and hope for the best. You've got to be very active in the community as well. So, yeah, you've got all of that happening. Uh, got to go. Happy New Year and Merry Christmas. Thank you for staying as long as you did, Spidey. We're not going for that much longer anyway, it looks like. We're getting close to the two-hour mark. But oh, I, have really? a, I have a feeling Stinky's competitive and wants to finish that level. <laughs> Am I right or wrong about that, Stink? You usually want to be about, oh, I've just got to get this done. <laughs> yeah. But if this one died again, I might give up at this point. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Red December said, has anyone tried a short video? And it's interesting you raised that as well, because I don't know about you, but in my recommended, lately, like over the past two or three months, they've recommended a lot of short videos, you know, 30 seconds to a minute. So I've been thinking about doing it. We're, again, it's another uh, idea that we've had that would be a much, much shorter one. And this would be involving the rat bag because, let's face it, old rat bag cat's got a short attention span anyway. And if I showcase all the tricks she can do, that would be a short video. But that's on the cards there. Um... I don't know if that's the actual hashtag, but I have seen a, a lot of shorter videos being promoted lately, and they're often from smaller channels too. But um, yeah. Oh, no. oh <laughs> sticky. Almost. So close, no cigar. You're doing well, though. I've got to say, level 17. That's not bad. Isn't it? Uh, probably. Is that it? You, you do want to close it early, do you? Huh? Why? A, what time? We're getting so, kind of close to the two hour mark. Yeah, how close? Uh, 108, say 12 minutes. If okay. you want. But you again. You wait until I try to finish this. Okay? Maybe the DLG is just sick of hearing me talk as well. Oh, PVC Thai is here. Sawadika, Sabaydi Mai. Sawadika, Sabaydika. Oh, what's going on? You're doing well is what's going on there, Sticky. Uh, do you celebrate me like the the Western years, or do you wait for your traditional one? Oh, we celebrate everything. <laughs> Anything for a holiday for you. <laughs> Isn't it? Yeah, we actually celebrate the New Year Eve as well. 
So our New Year Eve is actually public holiday, but it's not here in no. Australia. What? So we got New Year Eve and New Year as be, public holiday. You'll be adding the AFL Grand Final to your public holidays soon enough, won't you? No. Yeah, you will. Ah, Australia's Australian football's got its Grand Final. Public holiday. I think that is ridiculous. Melbourne Cup public yeah, holiday. Yeah, that is even worse. <laughs> Don't get me start. What's wrong with that? Queen's birthday, public holiday. You shouldn't have Queen anymore, hey? Australia Day, public holiday. That's UK Queen. How come? Because we're still, uh, what, are, what are they called Commonwealth? Again? Yeah, but um, not Republican. We're uh, still monarchists. That's I the word know. I was I looking for. I thought you were a different country from UK. Yeah, some of my mates told me off back in the day when yeah, we, I'm telling you off. we had a constitutional vote about that. Yep. And I mine was a protest vote though. And my one of my uh well, he's a lawyer now, lawyer friends said that was stupid. Mm. The I agree. Constitution votes come around very rarely and you did that. Yeah. Exactly. And then afterwards Supporting. Yeah. <laughs> But my thought was, there were, my thought at the time was there's much more important things that we should be voting on rather than whether or not we're a republic or not. But it's there already and you are the one who... I thought you study law. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look, You it, should know how important it is. Upon reflection, I know now. And back then I wasn't studying law. So, you know... Can I use that as an excuse? I know better now. If it ever came around again, I probably would vote a different way. But again, part of me still says it makes no difference. Like it's You not don't gonna... know because it never happened. But it's not going to change the way our country runs. It will change. Do you think so? Yeah. She has very little to do with what goes on in this country. Huh. She's a figurehead more than so? anything else. So... Uh, Just a figurehead, that's it. Nah, that's not true. They still got power. And why you want to but, spread the but, power from UK to Australia? But again, that power is... It's only ever been used once in our history. It has been used but, once. No, and you know, I told you the story. Our Governor General went to the Queen and said, What do you think? And she basically said, It's your decision. Go ahead and do it and I'll back you. And that's it. She didn't didn't influence anything. She just straight up I said, "I just think you don't know everything." You vote, and I will I will support your vote, which I think was the right thing to to say. I don't need you, you to support. I, that's my vote, and it should be it. Well, what happens if our okay? This is just really doing a hypothetical situation now. What happens if we can't control ourselves? And the government can't control us, so they need to appeal elsewhere to say, "Ah, oh, we've messed everything up. Help us out, Queenie Queen." So, if she got corrupt, then what? Well, well, fair point. Fair point. All right, on the next one, I'll vote the way I should have voted, if it ever happens again. <laughs> but they also, I think, the last one was. <coughs> to change the uh, the national flag, and that didn't go down too well either. Which might not be a bad oh. thing, you know. If you're gonna if you're gonna vote on these sorts of things, you also vote on the flag. I'd also want to vote on our um, our national anthem because we had a national anthem, and then it was the uh, government decided, no, that's not good enough. We're gonna have another one. And the second one's not as good as the the poet. We, uh, sh we should recognise Banjo Patterson. Okay, let's just make it all at once. Revolution. Revolution. Oh, we're going to get the yellow symbol. <laughs> <laughs> We've been discussing all the kinds of stuff we probably shouldn't be talking about. It Revolutionary vote. Get all of those things at once. Do a vote. Yeah. 
No, so I'm not I, waste too much money. Can't disagree with that. Maybe it's time, isn't it? Get it all off your hairy chest. Say what you need to say. And hopefully things will change for the future. You're all about that, aren't you, Stinky? You don't mind being progressive? With your progressive nature? I love Australia. It has helped almost every country on the planet. Now, that's true too. Did you know that from Penguin there? That usually when things happen in the world, we will send aid or we will send uh, soldiers maybe if that's needed or Mm -hmm. send diplomats, whatever's necessary to try and appease whatever's going on. Mm -hmm. So it's my patriotism that's coming out now that... I'm very proud of that history, uh, mm-hmm. even though, you know, I'd have to say our family's not part of it. I'm only first generation. Yeah. But there is that real sense of helping each other out. Ah, I can't do it this way. I can't do it that way. <laughs> <laughs> well, Lee, with 2020, it's been a bit different. I've seen some poor behaviour. There, there are some people that are behaving quite poorly out there, but... Thankfully, it's not the general rule, you know. They're very good at banding together. Mm-hmm. I noticed if you have a pretty model in your... Th- yeah. <laughs> so, Red December, I'll just... In fact, spoiler alert. Um, we're doing it again for this thumbnail. Now, I do try to make it relevant. So, whenever you see the the uh, raunchy bikini girl... Um, Almost without exception, there's one or two videos where it maybe didn't relate. But, you know, if we're playing a game that's on the beach, then I'll try and incorporate that. Um, There's no doubt about it that pretty girls' faces tend to perform better. It's not always the case, though, and we didn't want to build a reputation on it. So uh, it's another discussion that Stinky and I have had. But, yeah, if you look at the most popular uploads list... So most viewed videos down, you can see the effect that that has. And even the more recent ones that have the, the attractive looking girls on it, they do get a lot more views. And that's just, you know, sorry for the younger audience, but sex sells. That's normal. Um, and for whatever reason, uh, girls find looking at attractive girls okay just as much as guys do so i guess that works better because we could put really attractive men on the thumbnails and it wouldn't perform as well it's something about human psychology that way and then most girls that i've met are like that you walk down the street they're checking out the guys and the girls they're not just restricting to the guys even you do that stink pants isn't it you look at everyone uh can it be a beautiful english or australian woman This one, um, I don't think it will be just because we're trying to introduce another nationality. But spoiler alert, there is going to be a guy and a girl in it because it's water... What is it? Fire boy and water girl. So this is how I can incorporate a bikini because a water girl's beach. Isn't it? Water girl's going to wear a bikini. That's the rather loose connection I've got there. Yep. Uh, so yeah Red December we do do it deliberately uh, just because they do perform better there, there's the if you look at the King of Crabs live stream and the FIFA football one I mean they're getting um, for us anyway I mean it's not like they're viral videos or anything but for us they're performing extremely well and it's pretty obvious that the thumbnail's got a lot to do with that uh, plus, you did very well in the, the King of Crabs game, Stinky, so that's it too, I would say. Uh, and yes, put Winston Churchill on it. <laughs> and Hog Riders from the Clash of Clans. So there is method to our madness, Red December. Uh, I do try and restrict how often we do it, though. Uh, if I was smart, I would not care about the reputation and I'd make every thumbnail like that and then you'd have every video perform quite well. But the reality is we want to also prove that we don't necessarily have to do that. So the Plants vs Zombies uh, 2 stream is also performing quite well and it's got nothing like that on there. 
So, uh, yeah, it really does depend. We can't quite figure out why some things do better than others, but that's definitely part of it. And we're about due for a, a hottie again, aren't we, Stinky? I was getting... And just so that you know, it's not just me. I was getting Stinky to have a look at some of the images today to help me decide. So, you know, you're getting a girl's perspective too. She'll even say not hot enough sometimes, isn't it? Hell yeah. That's right, Stinky. Oh, you got the duck song happening too. They're all about the Clash of Clans is Kane and Penguin. I hope we get to finish the clan games. It's going to be tight this time round. They seem to be losing interest in the game somewhat, isn't it? You did it, Stinky! And i got to say, almost perfect timing too. Mm. So you're wanting to sort of wind down at this point? or? Yep. Uh, that was a bit hard. <laughs> <laughs> Name every troop in the game, not including hero spells in the villages. Uh, oh, Penguin just broke his watch. I'm sorry to hear that. I hope you're asking Stink Pants to do that, because old Uncle Pudo doesn't know most of the names of stuff in the game. I don't know the Super Troop, though, but it's going to be the same name, right? Yeah, pretty much. Plus Super at the <laughs> beginning? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Let's start. Barbarian. Yep. Asher. Yep. Uh, Wall Breaker. Yep. Giant. Yep, you're doing it in order, like I'm thinking too. Keep going. <laughs> I'm thinking. Wizard. Yep. Ice Wizard. Yep. Uh, what else? Although that's a special troop at the moment, so it'll disappear. Yeah, it's too dead. What else? Dragon. Yep. Baby Dragon. Yep. Electric Dragon. Yep. Is it all for Elisa? I think no, that's all. No, Miner. I, yeah, you're right. Balloon. Oh, yeah. Pick up. About those. Yep. Oh, wow. You're doing really well. Uh, what else? I can't remember anything else for Elisa. Now, just skip to the dark Elisa troop. Wish. Minion. Uh, what's that? Valkyrie. Mm, Golem. Ice Golem. Uh, what is that? The flying dog? What is the flying dog's call? Lava. Lava how? Uh, what else? Hawk Rider. Is it Hawk Rider or just Hawk? Hawk. I guess Hawk Rider is the versus battle, right? Yeah, I guess so. Um... Oh, I forgot one for Alyssa. Healers. Oh, you're right. You know, the healer. Yeah. And I can't remember anything else. <laughs> That's it. Well, you're up to the end of the soundtrack there as well. So I guess that will be it for today's stream. You passed your two hour mark today, aren't you? Yay. It was a bit of a marathon one. So appreciate all of the DLG showing up. We realise that you might uh, have been a bit busy at this time, so very much appreciated. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you for sharing all of your uh, presents, the New Year's resolution. I don't have presents to share. You get nothing. Yeah. <laughs> we are the champion. Yes, Penguin, we'll see you next time. Hey, good up. And for the Caney Kane and official MX, thank you for staying as long as you did. He's often quiet, but he's there, mm. isn't it? Yep. So hopefully we're not too boring for for everyone. Mm -hmm. uh, apparently I didn't read that. Oh, Super Barbarian, Super Archer, Super Giant, Wall Breaker, Super... He's reading, just doing all of it. Super stuff. Super Penguin, <laughs> that's true. <laughs> Uh, we are the champ. Which comment came? What else am I missing? I don't know. It's not possible, he's saying. 
There can't be any other comments there. Wasn't that it? Kane, didn't I read it all? I'm pretty sure I did. Except for, oh, you're not super. Maybe that was the one that I missed. All right, so take care. We're probably not going to see you before the New Year's, so Happy New Year's, unless we do a Twitch stream or something like that. Mm -hmm. Isn't it? I doubt it's going to happen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you well. keep saying that, and it rarely happens. It happens, though, but then you guys don't show up, and it just... Yeah, then I'm like, that's it, I'm gone. <laughs> okay. Happy Christmas. Put on. Happy Christmas, stink pants. Where's my gift? Oh, it's coming after the stream. <laughs> All Bye. right. Have a good